time. Come on, hold your head, hold your head. Hold your head, up and down. Come on, come on. Slip now, up and down. Spin up. Inside, 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 baby. Side to side, move your head. Watch him now, watch him. Right, remember, he's got two hands, right? Damn, man, what the hell are you doing? This guy will knock you on your ass. Come on, Rock, it's not a game. You want to live in the hospital for five weeks this time? You thought I was tough? This jump will kill you. All right. Come on, come on, get your head on your shoulders, man. Think about the fight, think about the fight. Clover Lang's in here, he's trying to hurt you, Rock. He's trying to hurt you, okay, here he comes. Jeff, he's Jeff, he's Jeff, he's trying to hurt you. You gotta fight him, you gotta move. Shalom, shalom. Ko halo, yehawa, bahashim, yawasha, bahashim, rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And a sincere salutations to you, Akim, and Akwath around the four corners of the globe, believing and pushing his truth in all sincerity. May the blessing of election be upon your houses. This is your fellow servant, Makaya, from the GMS Orlando camp. And uh, the title of tonight's lesson is going to be There Ain't No Tomorrow. All right, there ain't no tomorrow. And uh, I wanted to bring this quick exhortation through the spirit. Lord is willing to inspire and encourage you, hopefully like Akim and Akwat out there, to endure hardness as a good soldier and to fight today like there ain't no tomorrow. All right, fight today like there ain't no tomorrow because tomorrow is not promised us. All right, and we're only as good to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh as our last works. And we want to make sure that our last works are always on point and not half fast or no effort at all. All right? Because just like you've seen, and, and just like you've seen in that video, or, or rather seen and heard in that video that played before this, we don't want to adapt that mind state that Rocky had of just giving up on today and hoping for better tomorrow. All right? That's how we get knocked down and knocked out. All right? We don't want to adopt that mind state of, of giving up because the sufferings or the trials is getting a little bit tougher. You know, the, the, the fight is getting a little bit more intense. So we just give up. You know, we don't want to adopt that kind of mind state, especially here in these latter days. All right. It's time to champion through these different trials. It's time to, it's time to champion through these different sufferings. All right. These sufferings and these different trials that we go through now are making and molding us into conquerors and champions in the spirit. All right. So right now is the time to endure hardness as a good soldier and to fight today like there ain't no tomorrow. Fight every day like there ain't no tomorrow. All right, put forth your best effort daily for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I speak for myself first and foremost, and to you hopefully like Akim and Akwat out there. All right, now's the time to put forth our best effort daily for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai if you haven't been doing so already. You know, and that can manifest, it way, manif manifest its way uh, in many ways. You know, that can manifest through us showing uh, more faith and our day-to-day -day walk. All right, applying the scriptures more in our day-to-day -day walk, uh, reforming our life to fit the standard of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, doing the works, feeding the sheep, making our calling and election sure, doing our due, doing our due diligence, our right, studying to show ourselves approved. All right, putting forth our best best effort manifests its way in all those ways and more. All right, so we want to put forth our best effort for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai daily. All right, to the best of our ability. All right, because now it's crunch time. All right, we entering into that championship round, and we want to be con we we want to be we want to be tough, man. We want to be able to endure this championship round, man. All right, the hour of temptation, Jake was trouble. And the thing is, how can we hope to be champions if we train like chumps? All right, in order to be champions, we have to train like champions, which means putting forth our best effort daily. All right, because every day for us of the hopefully elect is a training session. All right, it's a training session and it's a lesson. All right, in order to get the most out of these daily training sessions and lessons, we have to go all out. 
All right. We have to go all out every day. All right. All right. Because the goal is for us to make daily improvements. All right. Daily improvements in our faith, our wisdom, knowledge, understanding, belief in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So that we come into those perfect men and women of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that the scriptures talk about. All right. Those champions, those conquerors in the spirit, you know. So um, we're going to grab this here in Second Timothy, uh, the second chapter, and then we'll close it out. All right. It says, thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. All right. And there's two classifications of warriors. All right. You have the one that believes in what he's fighting for and wants to be there. All right. And wants to win. All right. And you have the other one who doesn't really want to be there. doesn't really believe in what he's fighting for. Was probably forced to be there and could care less whether he wins or loses. All right. Who who would you want next to you on the battlefield? Which one would you want next to you? Which one do you think is going to come out victorious on the battlefield? The one who wants to win, man, the one who's, who wants to be there, who believes in what he's fighting for. All right. Who, who's going all out for what he believes in. All right. Who's not entangling himself with the affairs of this life. Who's not entangling himself with things that don't matter. Whose focus is on the battle at hand. All right, that's who you want next to you, and that's who Yahweh Shah wants next to him. All right, because just ain't no anybody is gonna make it through these times, man. And we just we want to try our best, we want to do our best to make our calling and election sure. We, we want to have done all to stand, man. Like it says in Ephesians the sixth chapter, we want to have done all we can to stand in that day and to make it to the end. So now's the time to endure hardness as a good soldier and to fight every day like there ain't no tomorrow because tomorrow ain't promised for us, man. Tomorrow ain't promised for us. We got to go all out every day, every day to the best of our ability. Reading again, it says, No man that worth entangling himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him. Who have chosen him to be a soldier, and we were chosen by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, which is a which is the greatest calling that anyone can receive in this lifetime, in any lifetime. All right, and we have to do our due diligence, man. All right, to serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and to make good on this calling, man. All right, to make our calling and election sure. All right, jumping down. Verse ten it says, "Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake." That they may also obtain the salvation which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying, For if we be dead with him, we also shall live with him. If we suffer with him, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. All right, and the thing is, the servant is not greater than his master. All right, and if Yahweh Shah went through it, we have to go through it as well. All right, if Yahweh Shah suffered, we have to suffer. All right, and in order to enjoy the 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 the, the fruits of the suffering with Yahweh Shah, we gotta go through these things, man. All right, in order to reign, be joint heirs with Yahweh Shah, we have to go through these sufferings, man. We have to endure hardness as a good soldier. All right. So um, in closing, let's get this in our uh, Second Timothy chapter four. In verse 5, it says, But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. For I am now ready to be offered at the time of my departure, and, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. And the, just like Paul, we want to be able to say this very same thing. All right? That we have fought a good fight, we, that we fought a good fight, we finished the course, and we kept the faith. All right? And in order to fight a good fight, in order to be champions, man, and overcome, we have to train like champions, which means going out, going all out for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which means putting forth our best effort for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai daily. All right? However it may manifest in your life. You know what you need to do. I know what I need to do. You uh, uh, that's listening to this video, you know what you need to do better or could do better. 
you know? So now's the time to make those changes, man, and, and really get in there, man. All right? Really put forth that best effort for your Abba Shemel Shai daily to the best of our ability. Don't adopt that mindset that Rocky had, man, giving up on today and hoping for better tomorrow. No. Learn from today. Grow from today. And the only way you'll be able to do that is by going all out, is by putting forth your best effort. That's how we identify our weak areas, our weak points. And then we're able to uh, um, work on that, you know. But it says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto, uh, unto all them also that love his appearing. All right. So if we continue in these sufferings and we endure hardness as a good soldier and we fight the good fight of faith. All right, keep the faith. There's a crown laid up for us. That's why the scripture say in Revelation 3 and 10, hold, hold that fast to what you have, that no man take that crown. All right? We have to hold fast to this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, and fight this good fight. Endure hardness, because there's a crown laid up for us. It's rest laid up for us. Rulership. Peace. Everlasting life. Eternity. These things are laid up for those who fight the good fight and finish and endure, you know. So we want to put forth our best effort now, daily, so that, you know, we're built up as best we can for the, for, for the times that are at hand. You know, so with that being said, fight, Akim. All right. It's time to fight. It's time to improve. Shalom.